when I buy new things, anything, cars, computers, phones, I generally save my pennies and buy the best that I can at the time. That's pretty sensible. Same uh, cars are the same thing. My current yeah. car is a 2000 Acura. Good. Oh, you drove that into the ground. Yes. Good. No, no, no. It's still doing great, actually. No, of course it is. Yeah, modern cars now really go for a long time. Yeah. My concern is on my current car, there's nothing that I can't use. Everything that came with the car is still usable. <laughs> but there's no technology in it. Yeah. Um, and when I buy my next car, I intend on keeping it 10, 15, 20 years. I just don't want all of the technology to stop working in two or three or four or five years like my phone and my computer. Yeah, and get obsolete, right? Right, And right. you're not alone in that. The car companies uh, worry about that, too, because, well, first of all, their, their development time, their design time frame is, is five and longer years. So that's why companies like uh, Ford, and I know this only because I've spent a lot of time talking to Ford, uh, are really interested in using the technology in your smartphone mm -hmm. for things like entertainment systems. If they can just provide a portal for your phone and let your phone do most of the work, then when you upgrade your phone, you'll get an automatic upgrade. So the problem is going to be my phone. So I'm currently running an iPhone, and then if, That's if fine. Apple or whoever changes in five or ten years, my new car may or may not. No, it will. Well, I mean, I can't promise. Right. But Apple has a technology called CarPlay. Okay. And the very newest cars, this is new, so only the very newest cars. But if you say you have a year time frame, more and more cars will support this. You are going to want to look for that. Because what happens is, you pair. first of all, you're going to love the fact that you just pair your car to the, the, the phone. Right. And you get in the phone, the car knows. But with CarPlay, you know, all cars have screens now. Uh, where the GPS would be. Right. With CarPlay, uh, it's a screen that becomes your iPhone. Now, it's a simplified version of your iPhone because you, it would be too dangerous to put all your icons up there. Sure. But the things you want, like music, uh, navigation, and so forth, are now su supplied by the electronics of the phone pa to the car, which is fairly just a passive it just passes it along. Mm -hmm. So that the theory is as long as the technology for CarPlay doesn't change, and I don't anticipate it will, um, then you'll be continue. When you get a new iPhone, you'll get new features. Okay. So that's, a, I think, a good way to do it. Uh, and and you anticipate, I know you, you're not a prophet, but you anticipate that that will still be valid in 10 or 15 years. Well, that's an awful long time, as you say, right. in computer time. Right. But yes, I do. We Look, at Bluetooth has lasted that long. Things that are designed to interface like this, there's a, of course, you can never, I mean, Apple took the headphone jack out of their right, phone for right, crying right. out loud. I mean, Apple, Apple's an unknown, an unpredictable. Okay. The, a, a car that supports CarPlay, Apple's technology, uh, in every case I've seen, also supports Android's play to Android Auto, which is the same thing for Android phones. And okay. you, that's nice because if you don't want to be locked into an iPhone, if in two years you say, boy, that Android phone looking awfully good, it will also do the same, pretty much the same exact thing. Okay. The other advantage to that is you kind of want to separate the car's computing systems from the entertainment system. Right. Because you don't want and we've seen this, hackers to be able to break in through the entertainment system and turn your brakes off. Mm. And it's actually happened. Right. <laughs> because car companies were too cheap to put two different computer systems in. Okay. So you do kind of want this entertainment system to be separate. And that's one way of doing it is make it just passively play your your phone stuff through. Right. I don't think I need a lot of technology on my car because I do so much through my phone. I just need the, tar the car and the phone to communicate. So there's there's three things that we typically do with our car and our phone. Phone calls. Yeah. Uh, and then navigation and music. And all three of those are very nicely supported with CarPlay. And there are some additional things that CarPlay will do. So I would, the next time you go, Honda now supports it. Uh, you said you had a Toyota. I'm pretty sure Toyota will support it if they don't already. Mm -hmm. The list of CarPlay companies is pretty complete. The, the companies that tend not to are companies that are doing their own thing, which I think in the long run is a mistake. And okay. it, it tends to be the luxury car companies, to be frank. So uh, a Toyota or a Honda, you should be just fine. All go, right, well, go, and, go to the dealer and look at it and see what you think. All right. Yeah. Will do. Enjoy your new car. Now, I, I should talk you into electric, but <laughs> we'll save that for another conversation. Uh, I'm very I'm very happy with the electric vehicle. Uh, there's something, you know, it's funny. My wife still drives a, a gas uh, Audi, 
which she loves, and I loved my Audi. Um, but now that we have an electric vehicle and we have solar panels, so the electricity is you know self-generated, uh, she says, "I'm not going to drive the gas car. Whenever she can, she drives the electric." Uh, and I, you know, because you feel good about it. Not, not only does it save you money uh, on gas, I like not having to go to a gas station. You feel good about saving the environment a little bit too. And when you generate your own, I think that that's that's pretty good.